getting everything straight, getting everything right, make sure everything looks good. Right, all right, here we go. <coughs> 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 All right, here we go. Hey there guys, Primus Reviews here, and today we're going to be reviewing the Transformers Rise of the Beast Studio Series. Oh my gosh. Hey there guys, Primus Reviews here, and today we're going to be reviewing the Transformers Rise of the Beast Core Class Terracon Freezer. Now before we get started, please make sure to like and subscribe, make sure to turn on post notifications, that way guys, I'm missing upload every little If you guys do enjoy this video, I think we are pushing to one thousand subscribers that is insane for me to say but we are pushing to one thousand subscribers so make sure to smash that like button and smash that subscribe button if we were getting super duper duper close but seeing freezer for the very first time i think it was really 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 cool um seeing images on him i do quite i did quite like this figure um all in all i i honestly didn't want to get him but you know after seeing the movie i'm like i have to get him but i if, i do have to say that this is probably the best, the best studio series figure that they have ever created. Don't at me. I think this is one of, honestly, the best. This has the best articulation, the best transformation, and the best detail you'll ever get in a studio series figure. Now, take a look at the packaging here. We do have a nice Terracon logo there. Terracon Freezer looking really cool. And you do have a beautiful image of Freezer looking very, very cool. Back of the box here, we do have him in his really cool looking alternate mode, and it looks pretty cool. I do quite like it, but other than that, that's it for the packaging. So let's take a look at honestly this really, really, really cool looking figure. Take a look at Freezer here. Here we do have his beautiful looking face. I do quite like honestly, I'm not gonna lie, that actually looks really, really, really cool. Do got some nice yellowish orangish eyes. I do quite like that. Again, do got some nice silver for the teeth there. It's going down the figure. You can see the nice detail on this. I do quite like this. This like brown paint, but it's like supposed to be like rust and stuff. I do quite like that. He does have four arms, so that's pretty cool. Uh, but again, I do quite like this in the back. Here we do have his backpack, but honestly, it doesn't bother me at all. It's a core class, but honestly, it do got some nice mechanical detail there. I do quite, quite like that. Do got some nice rust and do got some nice yellow. I do quite like that. But yeah, um, all in all, I do think that this figure is beautifully detailed. Again, do got some nice brown there for the feet. I do quite, again, like this figure. Again, the best Studio Series figure ever made. Don't at me. This is probably one of the best that they've ever made. But this guy did come with one accessory. So let's take it all the way. No, no, he, he didn't come with any accessory. <clears throat> Sadly, this figure didn't come with any accessories, but what do you expect? It's a core class. There's nothing else for me to say. It's a core class and very small. But yeah, um, I do think this figure, honestly, it still looks really cool. Um, usually, this would be the part where, you know, I, I show the, uh, you know, the, the dramatic effect of... of I'm, 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 I'm just going to do it anyway. All in all, this figure does look very, very, very cool. Again, do got some nice mechanical detail, even though it has, he has no accessories. It is what it is. I do think this figure looks very cool, in my opinion. Now, for some size comparisons, here he is next to Battle Trap. And, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, this... I mean, again, it's supposed to be really accurate, so it is what it is. But all in all, I do think this looks very cool. I think they both do look great together. And all... Again, even though Freezer is supposed to be like human sized because throughout the movie he does chase the humans and stuff. But again, I do think the scale works very, very, very well. For my next size comparison, here we do have Decepticon Trash, I mean Niper. That way you can see how it does look cool. Again, I don't think that Niper was bad in the film. I do love Niper in the film. It's just we need a studio series Niper really fast because I do not like this Niper at all. The main line, I don't like it. But again, I do, again, Pretty cool. I do quite like this. I do think that they both look um, cool. You know, one of them, Freezer, best two series ever. Um, that one looks okay, but again, very cool. I do quite like it. Now for the articulation, the head is not on a ball joint. It can go just up and down like this, like that, I guess. Um, the arm can move out by shoulder swivel, bicep swivel, bend at the elbow, and sadly his hands don't move. But again, they're on ball joints right there. Um, same thing for all the arms. Um, his leg can move out roughly about that far, and it can move back roughly about that far. Does have a ball joint at thigh, uh, ball joint down here. 
So I guess you can call this like, like a knee swivel, I guess. Or is that his knee? Is that his shin? Uh, I don't. Uh, ball joint at the feet. So that's pretty cool. And he does have the slightest ankle pivot you will ever see. But again, as you can see, the articulation on this guy is fan. Fantastic. I do quite love this figure. This figure is amazing. This figure looks really cool and overall Do I suggest that you get this guy? Heck yeah, I suggest you guys get this guy. It's pretty cool The articulation is better than most leader classes and honestly a lot of other figures. This figure is amazing This figure is fantastic and I actually really enjoyed this figure but alrighty guys, I think it's time, I think it's time for me to transform him into his really cool, really cool looking, well, there's two modes, there's two gun modes, like, there's a turn mode, I think there's a gun mode, but, but alrighty, here we go. Transform him, Transformers, robots in disguise. What the? Autobots in I hate these instru these instructions suck. Like they physically suck. This is what does this instruction say to do? What is this? What? Okay, so it's supposed to be like this. Yes. Okay, the arm's supposed to be like that. Okay. This is a core class figure and I'm struggling on a core class figure. Are you serious right now? I... What? This my thing doesn't want to connect. Oh, it, it did connect. Oh my gosh, I am I'm just that dumb. I'm I'm that dumb. I am I am physically dumb. I am dumber than dumb. I'm prop oh there goes the ball. Perfect. Perfect. I think this does look very, very cool. I do love this turret mode. I honestly didn't have that much struggle with it. Yeah, I struggled for a bit, you know, the the arms here really didn't do much, but again, I do quite like this, and overall, I think it's pretty cool. I think this does look very cool, all in all. I, 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 I'm enjoy I enjoy this. I really enjoy this turn mode. I think it does look cool. Again, do got some nice silver detail there. I do quite, quite like that. And again, I, again, this looks pretty cool. Yeah, these parts are sticking out and there's nothing more you can do, but it's a turret. It's supposed to be like you holding it and then you're going like, like, boop, 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 boop. you know what I mean? Uh, again, it does look very cool. Again, do got some, you know, nice hidden detail here and there, but overall, I do quite like this. Is it my favorite? Probably my favorite. It would look good with a figure that I currently don't have at the moment, but again, I do quite, quite like this. And yeah, I, again, I, enjoy it i physically enjoy this i have honestly not that bad of a time transforming this even though it's a core class you know it looks pretty cool now there is another mode i guess there's like the the gun mode i mean it's i thought this was already the gun mode but it, it i suppose it's the turn mode i don't know but all right here is his really cool looking alternate mode as opposed to tab into here, okay. I'm supposed to tab into into here. Oh, you know what? You know what? It's not too bad. Bam! I got the first one. <laughs> I okay. That hurt me more than I wanted it to. My arm doesn't reach. This does not look right at all. This physically does not look right. I I think I'm doing a horrible job on a core class. What kind of gun is this? There is no reason for this to be a thing. At all. It's a core class and I'm struggling to transform a core class figure. I need a break. I need, I'm thirsty. I want water. Are you, that's what I missed. That's what I missed. Here is his next uh, mode, which is the handgun mode, which is pretty cool. I do quite like this. Now you can store this on, uh, on honestly, any figure you want because on the bottom it does have a tab 
right there. So let's just bring in Battle Trap, for example, here. Now that is his handgun. And honestly, it doesn't look that bad. I actually, I'm not gonna lie, I do honestly quite like this. Um, this is probably the best mode. I do like the handgun. Now, it is supposed to go with uh, Scourge, but uh, you know, um, I don't know, have him at the moment. But it is what it is. I think it still does look very, very cool in my opinion. But that has been honestly his modes that I can honestly do because I, I don't want to do anymore. I, I, th this figure is too amazing that I can, I, I cannot, I cannot not do anymore because this figure is just too, too superior. But I think I, this is where my transformer and give my overall review and my overall grade. So let's talk about it. Alrighty guys, there you go, there you have the Transformers, Rise of the Beast, Core Class, Terracon, Freezer. Now, what do I think? This figure, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I, it's, it's alright. It's, it's not the best, it's not the worst, but I, it, it needs improvement. I, I didn't want to get this figure, but you know what, to go with Scourge, when I do find him, I do have to get this guy, but again, it is not bad, I do like the mechanical detail, I do quite like it, it's just a couple things that I really don't like about this figure, so for that, I do have to give this figure a solid uh, 7 out of 10, I think a 7 out of 10 on this figure is very, is honestly, for a core class, it's not too bad, uh, it's not too bad, but here is honestly why I really don't like this guy. Con number one I don't like about this guy is that limited posability, he, this figure has Honestly, little to no posability. Um, again, it's a core class. What do I expect? But you know, it. I wish it did have a little bit more posability. But it is what it is. My second con is I really don't like how this guy feels. He feels kind of flimsy, and that's honestly really strange. I really wish he didn't feel that way. But whenever I try to pose him, he just feels flimsy, and that's something that I really don't like about this guy. And for my third con, I think he could use a little, a little bit more paint. I do think a little bit more rust here and there would honestly help some parts that are super plain but other than that you know i do think that this figure is pretty cool not the best but honestly not the worst um again only get this figure if you're gonna get scourged to you know help with the gun and stuff but other than that i wouldn't really recommend this guy if you just want to stand alone or maybe you maybe maybe you like freezer you know I, I, again i did like freezer in the movie um but it's just i I, it's, it's just me, just me. In my opinion, I really don't like this guy. But you know what? You know what? I, I'm I'm happy I got him. He does look cool, nonetheless. If he's just saying I'm alone. If you want to play with this guy, go for it. Just don't expect a lot of posability and expect the ball joints on the hands to come off every once in a while. But alrighty, guys. I think that's gonna do for me. If you guys are new to the channel, please be sure to like and subscribe. Make sure to turn on post notifications so that we guys are missing upload. I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. And overall, again, 7 out of 10, not too bad for a core class, not too bad, but I was expecting maybe a tiny bit more, but you know what, it is what it is. Um, but yeah, hopefully I can find Scourge soon, because uh, I need Scourge, he's practically almost the last one that I need out of Wave 1, so there's that. But other than that, it's been Promise Reviews, and that has been the best studio series ever made. Remember to stay calm and keep moving on, so I'll make sure you guys on the next one, bye! I cannot believe I struggled that bad with with this guy's transformation. It's just, it's impeccable. It's 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 okay. It's 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 impeccable. It's, all right, let's go ahead.